Hello everyone. Welcome to Cloud EML. This is Prefer Katyar and today we are going to discuss about regularization. So without wasting any time, let's get started. What is regularization? Regularization is a technique used to overcome overfitting issues in regression problems. Now what is overfitting? Overfitting is the issue which arises when a model performs well with the training data but is unable to understand or find the underlying pattern in the testing data. It constrains large weights coefficients of features to avoid overfitting. It restricts the degree of freedom of a given equation by reducing their corresponding weights. Okay, So why we use regularization? It reduces the variance of the model without a substantial increase in the bias. So now let's first understand what's variance and what's bias. Variance describes the how much a random variable differs from its expected value. Whereas bias is nothing but just the difference between the predicted and the expected value. So what the statement here says is that the regularization reduces the variance of the model that like it makes the variance so less without making a substantial increase in the bias. The tuning parameter lambda controls the bias and the variance trade-off. Now what's the bias and the variance trade-off? Uh, it's just the middle way between the high bias and the low variance and the low variance and the high bias. It's the situation where there is sufficiently less bias, bias and variance, variance. And it's the best situation that our model wants to be in. And the lamb value of lambda is selected using cross validation methods. Now, what is cross validation? It's just the resampling procedure used to evaluate machine learning model on a limited data sample. Types of regularization in regression. So, there are basically two types of uh, regularization techniques in regression. Those are lasso regression and the rigid regression. Lasso regression is also termed as the L1 norm, while the rigid regression is also termed as the L2 norm. Now what's lasso regression? It penalizes the model based on the sum of coefficients. So the lasso regression what it does is that it penalizes the model based on the sum of magnitude of the coefficients. And uh, we can see here lambda multiplied by the sum of magnitude of the coefficients where lambda is the shrinkage factor. It reduces the uh, some coefficients exactly to zero when we use a sufficiently large tuning parameter. So what it does it is it uh, reduces the coefficients exactly to zero at times. Hence in addition to regularization it also performs feature selection. So once it reduces some coefficients to zero it uh, few features get uh, you know deleted. So uh, we can say that it somehow performs feature selection as well. What is the regression now? It penalizes the model based on sum of squares of magnitude of the coefficients. So here comes the difference. The lasso regression, uh, it basically penalizes the model based on sum of the magnitude of the coefficients, whereas the rigid regression penalizes based on the sum of the squares of the magnitude of the coefficients, uh, which we can see here in the term, regularization term. And here also the lambda is the shrinkage factor. It shrinks the coefficients for those predictors which contribute very less in the model but have huge weights very close to zero but it never makes them exactly zero. So here comes one more difference between the rigid and the lasso regression. The lasso regression uh, uh, like it reduced some coefficients exactly to zero but here in the rigid regression the coefficients are not reduced exactly to zero. They might be reduced to a value that's very close to zero but uh, they are never reduced uh, exactly to zero. So now let's consider uh, like uh, the two coefficients beta 1 and beta 2 of a linear regression and lambda being 1 for the instance. So the equation for the lasso regression would hold like beta 1 plus beta 2 less than equals to max uh, which, is, which is basically the sum of uh, the coefficients while uh, uh, for the rigid regression it would be like beta 1 square plus beta 2 square less than equal to max which is basically the sum of the squares of the coefficients. And here max is the maximum value for the equation that the equations can actually achieve. Let's move on to the elastic net. Elastic net is nothing but a middle ground between regression and the lasso regression. 
so uh, elastic net uh, can be described as something that stands between the rigid and elastic regulation the regularization term is a simple mix of both rich and lasso's regularization terms and you can control the mix ratio alpha so as we know that rigid regression has the mix ratio 0 and lasso regression has the mix ratio 1 so elastic net uh, being somewhere the middle ground between the two here we can control the mix ratio and hence that's the one uh, advantage of it for more details you can visit to cloudy ml website and in the blog section you can find my blog on regularization here you will find everything in detail whatever i have showed in you, you in the presentation it's all about overfitting why we use regularization types of regularization what is elastic net you can find the code here and you can visit my repository of cloudy ml where you will find the regularization and regression models via Jupyter file along with the CSV files of the dataset. When you open this file, you will find the code where I have implemented and made a pickle file of the model. You can easily understand the code. It's written with comments and it would be easy to understand. Now it's time for self-promotion. This is AIE for all course with some special attractions of 25 plus assignments and expert mentorship from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. with 10 plus data science projects and of course course certification. We have more than 800 plus learners now and we are increasing day by day. It's almost a rate of 15 to 20 learners per day and we have some amazing experts to mentor you while you go through this course. I hope you like the video and please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you.